Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper. I'm here today to talk about boredom. Done lots of shows of boredom over the years. Uh, did a lot more of it back in 2014, 15, 16. I've alluded to it in a lot of other places. But what I'm here today to do is to share with you a moment of clarity for me. I was doing an interview on Attention Talk Radio with Dr. John Eastwood, um, who's been doing some research um, that I find fascinating. Um, suggesting that people with ADHD uh, thinking is more difficult them, for them than neurotypicals, which is that's a whole nother show. But we were talking about boredom. People with ADHD are more susceptible to boredom. And so the idea is boredom, good thing or bad thing? And it was kind of interesting to me because I had always thought it was kind of a good thing to go practice boredom. And he opened my eyes. Basically, when you're bored, it's a bad thing if you're escaping to immediate gratification, like you're bored and you're jumping on your phone or you're bored and you're smoking some marijuana or cannabis or you're having a cocktail or you're 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 doing something that's probably not very helpful that's bad but there's a good part of boredom and that is it's like a portal as he described it it's that moment where you're bored where you turn inward and you become self-reflective and that kind of struck me just to be bored for the sake of being bored is not good, but it is good if you choose to turn inward and be more ref reflective. In that interview, it kind of I had a big aha because I remember back in my days swimming, um, like when I was 11, 12, 13, I go to swim meets and it was like, you know, 5,000 heats of the 50 free. And it's like watching paint dry. And you'd be there all day and there was a lot of downtime. And I often would find myself going somewhere like under the bleachers, into the locker room and laying down and really becoming self-reflective, thinking about, um, you know, what I was going to do, how I was swimming, visualizing what I was doing, kind of occupying my mind with myself. And I found that back then I was, I think it helped with my self-awareness today. All too often, I think people are satisfying their boredom with like one of these, anything that comes very quickly and they're not spending that time being self-reflective. And I think it's a tool that's that's a, a situation that people with ADHD are, are, are struggling with. And so the point of this video is I really want to bring it to your attention is that when you're standing in the line at the DMV or you're um, in the back of a car on a long drive or anything else, sometimes it might be good to kind of put this thing down and maybe become a little bit more self-reflective. Um, Kind of think about yourself, kind of think about how you handle yourself, uh, your persona, uh, you know, maybe get in touch with how you're feeling, the sensations and stuff as a means to occupy your mind. When it comes to self-reflection, when it comes to self-awareness, this was executive functions and so I can be gained for that. So anyway, perspective that I thought was kind of useful, boredom for the sake of boredom, not really good. Being bored to pass through the portal to self-reflection, good deal for those with ADHD. For those that are new, Please hit our subscribe button. We release a tip, thought, or insight each week. Uh, thoughts on this on our comments. Also, uh, we do what we do for you. Um, if you're so inclined to help us, we'd certainly appreciate it if you hit the thanks button. With that, we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk Video. Take care.